What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be starting our 2022 draft profiles. And in the first round, Patriots first pick with the 29th pick overall after a trade with the Kansas City Chiefs, the New England Patriots select guard Cole Strange. And yeah, if you guys saw our live reaction, because we were live tonight during this draft, then you would know that me and the other Patriots fans that were on this live with me were not too happy about this pick. And this is being considered the surprise pick of the entire first round of the 22, 2022 first round of this draft. I will say I did like the Patriots' idea to trade back. They were able to pick up a third-round pick and also a fourth-round pick by trading from 21 to 29 with the Kansas City Chiefs. And even at 29, you had somebody like Andrew Booth who was still on the board. You also had other guys who were still on the board, such as Bernard Rainman, uh, Nicobe Dean, Sky Moore, like I mentioned, Andrew Booth, Travis Jones, still very good players at that point. And even at 21, there were very good players, even like Devin Lloyd um, and Kyer Elam. But like I mentioned, I did like that trade back to pick up a couple more picks here. As you all know, I'm not a big fan of going interior of the offensive line in the first round. Now, I'm happy they didn't get Cole Strange at 21 and that they traded down in the late of the first in order to pick up an interior guy. I said if they picked up an interior guy at 21, I would have absolutely lost it. If you're going to go a guy like Zion Johnson, get him late into the first if you can. Um, and they kind of listened. They still picked up an interior guy late into the first and traded down, but they went with a guy who they absolutely reached on. And that's the problem here is they reached big time on Cole Strange. I mean, I don't want to say big time. I mean, he was a third to fourth round projection, but you did not. And I mean, did not need to get him here in the first round. I was going back, I was looking at other people's rankings of the offensive line, I was looking at my rankings, and nobody, nobody that ranked the interior of the offensive line had Cole Strange within their top 10. Didn't have them in their top 10, and yet Patriots still went and drafted him, who again was a third to fourth round projection at 29 in the first. If this was your guy, if this was the guy that you had your eyes on and the guy that you really wanted... You could have at least gotten him tomorrow. You could have gotten him with your second round pick. If you really desired to do so, you still would have pushed, but it would have looked a lot better than going and grabbing him in the first round. And if you really wanted to go into the offensive line, why didn't you get a guy that was higher ranked, was a better overall interior offensive line player? Another thing I'm not big on is that he is a little bit older, especially for entering the NFL as a rookie. He's 23 years old, but by the time training camp comes along, he'll be 24. Now, this was actually one of the few interior offensive line players that the Patriots did meet with. They did meet with Zion Johnson, and I do think that if Zion Johnson was there for the Patriots, they would have selected him. Obviously, he wasn't, but... That should make this pick a little less surprising because New England did meet with him. And again, they only met with a couple of interior offensive line guys. Uh, that doesn't, of course, subside the fact that they took him way too early. But uh, PFF had him on their big board as a rank of 86. He has a height of six foot five, 307 pounds. This is going to be a guy that's a left guard, okay? So he's going to plug in. He's going to be a serviceable left guard for you, and that's going to be your guy right away. At the very least, your offensive line is figured out. Left tackle, Isaiah Wynn. Left guard, you have Cole Strange. Center, David Andrews. Right guard, you have Michael Onwenu. And right tackle, you have Trent Brown. Thing here with Strange is, though, is that he is not going to bring you much versatility, if versatility at all. Like I mentioned, throughout his three years in college, played mainly left guard. He has 160 snaps in 2021 at left tackle, but again, only 160 snaps for his size also. He's not going to bring you that versatility. He is only a left guard. Unfortunately, right now, New England is kind of the laughing stock of the first round because of this. If you haven't seen that video of Sean McVay and the, uh, the, the Rams front office kind of laughing when they reacted to the Patriots pick, I'll play it right now. 
Really? Trains really? Just went. Oh my, UT Chattanooga to the first How round. Hey, where is... How about that? And we wasted our time watching him thinking he'd be at 104 hey. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But here's what PFF had to say about Cole Strange. He said it doesn't take long to pick out Strange along the offensive line when watching the college tape. He has elite explosiveness for an interior lineman. His 78.8 overall grade against Kentucky this past year leaves a lot to be excited about for what he could be. They also said that there's so much to like about him, especially with his tape um, and with a lot of his issues being able to be fixed just within time. Now, run blocking is going to be where he excels the most. He put up an 86.4 overall run blocking grade in 2021 with an 82.1 overall pass blocking grade. This past year, he only allowed one sack, one quarterback hit, and three pressures. He only allowed one sack throughout his three-year college tenure and only got better as each year went on. He had a 69.4 overall grade in 2019, a 72 grade in 2020, and like I mentioned, an 86.3 in 2021. Allowed zero sacks, first two seasons, one again this past year. Only allowed one quarterback hit this past year, didn't allow um, any in 2020, and then two in 2019. And then as for those hurries, only allowed three this past year, four in 2020, and zero in 2019. They said that where he wins is his get off. And that he has an overall really nice first step. He's not the biggest guard, especially when you look at him on tape. But he still moves people uh, by, being, by being able to win with leverage, especially in certain battles. But where he can improve is his pass set. But, and they said that between his wide base, wide hands, and forward lean, there is going to be a number of things that need to get addressed before he's going to be NFL game ready, which... It's another concern of mine. If you're going to take a guy in the first round, especially a guard, like you should probably take somebody who's going to be NFL ready for you, not a guy that kind of has to develop for a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I do like Cole Strange as a player. I would have loved this pick in the third round. I would have been more okay with it in the second round. Still wouldn't have been extremely high on it. But the reason that I'm more upset, I don't love this pick where it was, is because it was at 29 in the first round. There was really no competition for you. He's not a top 10 interior offensive line guy. So really, what was the rush? From what I've heard about him, he's a really, really smart guy. He has gotten into some fights on the field. He really has that... Uh, competition to him that really that that competition mentality unfortunately he hasn't just gotten into fights with the opposing team but even gotten into some fights with guys on his team but overall just a really really tough guy and does not take any crap thrown his way before we end this video off, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline.ag. Our partners at BetOnline continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. You guys can find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that baseball is back and the start of the Major League Baseball season is here. BetOnline is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super, super easy to get started started so head to their website or you can even use your mobile device to join us by using that promo code clns50 to receive a 50 percent off welcome bonus on your first deposit guys bet online where the game starts but the patriots go ahead and take guard cole strange with the 29th overall pick after trading with the kansas city chiefs at 21 what are your guys thoughts on this how do you feel i know a lot of people aren't happy but at the very least be happy that this offensive line is addressed at least for the starters and tomorrow for round two maybe the patriots will get into some more exciting moves so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below remember to leave a big like on this video and subscribe to the channel for all of your new england patriots news like always i appreciate you guys for watching and go pats